I was in Florida, and and I can hear um, Mr. Jackson in the background saying, please have her come see me now. Can she come now? And the person you know, on the other end, which I, I, I know the person, but I, I, I'd prefer not to give out their names, said that uh, Mr. Jackson really, really needs you. He is experiencing, they told me the symptoms, and I said, that is very serious. You need to go to the hospital. You know, uh, unfortunately, I'm not in town, so I cannot come and see you, but you need to go to the hospital. I'm very, I, I'm, I was really afraid. The symptoms were, were one side of his body felt cold and one side of his body felt hot. And what did that mean to you? Well, that meant, it could have meant a couple of things. It could have meant um, something going on in, on the nervous system or something cardiovascular, but more the nervous system because of the brain itself. And I had already gone through, I think this is why he re was reaching out for me Sunday because I had already, about three months ago, went through all of the symptoms of this medication that he wanted, that his doctor told him, and I don't know who his doctor is, his doctors told him that this was safe. And you were talking, I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, no, you're talking about, just correct me if I'm wrong, you're talking about a drug called Diprovan, right? Exactly. And was he asking you for that drug? He was asking me for the drug. And I, when he asked me about it about three months ago, and I told him, I don't know what that is. So I excused myself from where he was. I was at his home. And I made a call to a friend who was a physician. And I said, what is this drug? So at first I thought he was mispronouncing it. I said, are you speaking of something else, like Darvon or Darvacet? He said, no. And when I spoke with the physician, he said, that is a very, you do not, he asked me, he said, who is asking about this drug? This is a medication you only really give in ICU. And it's, it's a sedative, a painkiller, or? It is a, you know, and still the pharmacology of the drug, I don't want to go into a whole lot of detail with it. It's in the PDR. I sat down with Michael and I said, you know, I actually left him that day because he didn't understand. He kept thinking this was safe. I went all the way back to my office, pulled out the PDR, went back to him and said, look, this medication is not safe. I don't know who's telling you that this is safe. It isn't. He said, I just want to get some sleep. You don't understand. I want the IV to, when it dripped in my hand, I want to be able to be knocked out and go to sleep. And this was the very first time, even though we had discussed this before, that I told him, you know, and it's so painful because I, I actually felt it in my whole spirit. I said, if you take that, you know, you want to be knocked out, and I'm so sorry, but if you take this, you might not wake up. 